ask me things with no warning Has someone been questioning for you? She used to lie in the bye In my time Just to make me feel good I was stoned on my couch um, and I just uh, thought to myself like I should make an album with Binky Shapiro and I was like all stoned and I couldn't remember I wrote it down really, really big letters on the couch uh, on the couch itself and then I remember so then I called her she said yes then we got started she only lived a few blocks away from me so she just came over well, I mean in, in a weird way I think it's kind of a self-consciously adult album you know because it's like kind of you know maybe like I got divorced or something and I, or you know her relationship ends and we just sort of write a, an adult album about a uh, breaking up or something uh, um, but there's some kind of like redemptive quality in it like I I don't know just because um, it's pretty you know and I think I wanted to make a pretty album and I wanted to make an album with with her specifically because I thought she has such a great voice and it makes me very relaxed to hear it so someone who really knows you offers no mystery to slay through I can't do that and it ain't so bad I like that Binky sings like a very much like a lady, you know? I, I, I kind of enjoy that. Very uh, intelligent sounding and articulate. And she's very artistic as well. I, I try to write songs mostly by walking around and singing into uh, like a recorder or phone or whatever, you know? Like, I like to be moving and then just sort of like, that gets me a natural rhythm uh, to sing to. Um, I don't usually like to write songs on the guitar because I'm not a very good player. and I think I always play the same chords, so it's just sort of boring that way. So I like to try to make up something when I'm walking. Um, but in this case, with the Binky record, I had all kinds of lyrics on like scraps of paper, like, you know, just like lying around my house. Like, we would like just sort of go through them and we'd put them on the floor and sort of like, at least a start for the song would just be picking from just some scraps of paper. All the women in the factory, when their faces blow a fuse, it's a miracle. I have to feed them facts to be alone. Magnifico. Oh, fellas and umbrellas in the middle of the night. What you gonna do when the men are nice by? I guess uh, my music uh, was called anti folk back when I was a kid, and um, I didn't mind it because I guess like I, I welcomed it because. I thought nobody likes this word anti-folk, so it's, it's better to be labeled as something that nobody, nobody likes than, than as something that people like, because that's a, lo a lot of pressure, you know? But yeah, so I don't mind it. I, I'd actually be anti-folk, and people could call me that, because I think it's best to be something that, that nobody likes. This is not a good day to call me, because I cannot spare some sympathy. My own feeling is mostly unclear. When I'm talking to you, I'm not here. I don't think I'll ever be ready for you But I'll be trying to help you out too So I went downstairs for a walk But I had no strength to not talk Yes, you My favorite thing about tour, I... Well, I mean, you know, honestly, I like to play a concert. I'd play one every night if I could because it just, like, makes me feel like, um, like alive and like I'm in the right place at the right time. I mean, like, it's impossible to be at your concert and feel like you're at the wrong place because like, it's just like, um, like a self-fulfilling prophecy that you'll book a concert and then you'll come play that concert. <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah, like, uh, it's an automatic good feeling. So, I mean, plus, I don't know, it's just fun to feel like that kind of connection with people, like, just like a warm connection and like, to sing, I mean, as silly as it sounds, honestly, like, it's almost like being in a circus, like, you know, like uh, singing, if there was a tent and then I was in the circus tent and I was like a singing man and you'd give me like one euro per song. My music is almost like um, cartoons or something, you know? Like I think um, a lot of the ideas I, I want to communicate were things, maybe because in my brain I think I think in more cartoons, like, um, or like comic book or something. So when I write, um, I think that that comes out and then when I draw, I think I kind of like try to make the cartoons look like romantic, like they're kind of like, like music or something. And I want, I want the. So I try to mix it together. I mean. Here comes Brady with his fifty dollar baby coming out the alleyway, and here comes Davy with his funny little lady wiping all the tears away. Oh, those. Guys 
guys. People that grow up with the, uh, uh, in the internet time, it's like you really grow up in a video game. So, you know, your life is more like about living in a, in a computer or something. So, I, I feel grateful to have done a lot of music before, before that was the case. But at the same time, like, for example, I made a movie on my phone, you know, and uh, I don't know, it's just a different thing. So then, making the wrong Ferrari, I started to say, like, oh, I can act and then I can make, like, all the sets and they can look like my paintings. So I can, like, paint all the pictures and then act in them. And then I want to, like, sing in that. So I think it can all just look like an Adam cartoon. I, I shot the movie on the iPhone because it was the only camera that I had. And it seemed like a very good idea because we could make up the scenes on tour wherever we were. And, um, for, in, for example, when we were in Venice with Francesco, we like shot in a gondola, you know? Uh, and it, I don't think that the gondola driver realized that we were making a movie. Um, I don't think anyone who would have seen us make the movie realized we were making the movie because we were just had our phone. So it was pretty cool. Um, the original idea was conceived because I was uh, really involved in doing this drug called ketamine which is this crazy drug, it's called Ketamina, I think in, in Italian, it's crazy, uh, and it was just inspired the movie. It took me a while to figure out what it was doing to my brain, but it was making it like, um, very leaky. <laughs> I think there was a lot of holes in my brain, and then the movie came out, one of the holes. There's a hand out on the cracksack, filled with white tears from the thrift store. She's an eyesore in her red dress, I'm the ghost of her deceased when she said, give us back our life, leave him. I saw ketamine like it was noise, like digital noise, and it was like, um, that's how I feel about a lot of things. I feel like a lot of things are just kind of noise, especially in modern society. It's like, like I, I think it's very hard for us to appreciate formal things without the noise component because like, you know, everyone, like, you get your jeans and then people want them to be, like, all scratched up already, you know, and everyone, like, you get your music and everyone wants it to be, like, put through some kind of effect to sound like it's, like, worn out and distorted. And there's just so much noise that everyone puts on everything, just, you know, like, just to give it a context, like, you know, so I think in that way that kind of formalism is, 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 is hard to digest um, without, without the extra noise. There's always something very bruised in, in everything I do, like, I think it's, like, you know, it's like, I like this kind of like, just like the color of like red wine or like purple or like dark colors and just, so I like, as silly as it all is, it's, I, you know, it's like, uh, I can be a real idiot, like dancing around like on stage, like I'm like Donald Duck, but then I like to have it be like bruised, like Dracula, and I like it to be like tragic or like romantic, you know? And I guess I believe in like a, a lot, like love a lot, you know, so it's different, you know? It's, it's always, a, practice and trying to have a contrast. When she stopped talking to me, I knew that she would create a problem. And after five seconds flat, she came at me just like a goblin. Uh. I want to make a movie where it's my own version of Aladdin. I'm going to play Aladdin. and I have the lamp, you know, and um, just get wishes and then uh, my hope is to get Benicio Del Toro to play the genie but I don't know him at all I have to like figure out how to ask him to play the genie but um, and it's gonna have Macaulay Culkin uh, is gonna play um, in the movie and uh, I don't know I have to write it when I get back from the tour so I'm in the process of writing it and I want to do the music for that so it'll be like a like a music and movie project We'll get there fast, and we'll take it slow. That's where we want to go. Way down to Kokomo. Ciao.